Hello and welcome back to Got Sports. Today I'm going to be predicting the quarterfinals of the Euro. So without further ado, let's get straight on with this. Okay, so match number one is Switzerland versus Spain that will be today at five o'clock. Now, this could be a very interesting fixture for me. Switzerland obviously are going to be on cloud nine right now after knocking out France. They played amazing in that game. They definitely deserve to beat the world champions. And uh, there's just something about the Swiss team that they seem to be able to, to perform on the big stage. Um, and they are, they're getting better as the tournament goes on. Then we look at Spain. Spain comfortably uh, ended their last group game and then in the round of 16, they were looking comfortable against Croatia but then fell to pieces and uh, in extra time, Alvaro Morata had to sort them out and get them through. So for me, this could be a very interesting fixture. We could see a Spain that comes out and absolutely takes the floor and wins the game quite comfortably against Switzerland. However, we could also see what happened in the Spain-Croatia game, except this time I think Switzerland would have enough to overthrow Spain. So I think this one is going to be a very close one, but I do think that Switzerland are going to be the surprise team of this Euros, and I think they will beat Spain. I think Spain will take the lead, um, look quite comfortable, but then some sort of sloppy goal will go in and this will get Switzerland's tails up just like they did against France and they'll go through and win the game. So for me, Switzerland wins this one. Then the other game today is Belgium, Italy and oh my days, what a cracker that is. Just the, the title, Belgium versus Italy. If you're not excited for that, I don't know what you could be excited for because this is going to be an amazing game. Both teams at the top of their game, uh, Italy Less so, the round of 16 struggled to get through, but every team has to have a struggle match if they're going to win a tournament. Um, Belgium looking stronger and stronger, knocked out Portugal pretty much with ease from Hazard's goal. They looked pretty comfortable against the Portuguese, and I think they'll set up the same. I think it'll be interesting to see how defensively both teams play, knowing the other team has such good attackers. Um, but this one could be interesting. I think it's going to come down to more the star players decides this one. And for me, I think Belgium just have one guy in particular who's going to be the difference. And I think that's going to be Romelu Lukaku. Lukaku has been awesome this tournament so far against Portugal. The work he did on the counter-attack, the holding up, defenders just couldn't stop him. And I think he's going to excel again. And I think he'll be the difference. I think he'll be the one who bullies and hassles the Italian defenders and uh, ends up getting a goal and wins them the game. Uh, so I think it's going to be a Belgium victory. Okay, moving on to Saturday, and we have the first game on Saturday is Czech Republic versus Denmark. Now, this is an interesting one. If you'd said at the start of the tournament, one of these two teams will be in the semi-final, I don't think anyone would have believed you, but here we are, and both teams are playing amazingly. Obviously, Denmark have this spirit. They're fighting. They're trying to do as well as possible for their teammate. Uh, Christian Eriksen, um, and they are looking better and better. Two 4 0 wins on the bounce. They absolutely demolished Wales, uh, and it was it was hard to watch at times. I was supporting Wales, but there was there was nothing the Welsh could do against Denmark. They looked unbelievable and they are riding that high and are probably going to score a few goals then we have the Czech Republic who other than the game against England have looked a really solid side and you can't put it past them uh, winning this one either they beat the Netherlands with ease they just waited for a moment uh, of worry and then capitalized on that red card superbly um, and they've got Patrick Schick who is on absolute fire and could be in for the golden boot so this could be interesting so this one again is going to be a very close call but I think, I think, unfortunately for Denmark, I think Patrick Schick is going to just turn up and score uh, a few. And I think he'll win. I think it'll be close. I think this one may even go to extra time. But I think the Czech Republic will just get through. And then we come to the final quarterfinal, which is England versus Ukraine. Unfortunately, I think this one is the easiest one to predict. And I'm, I'm back in my home nation. I'm back in England. I think we're going to absolutely rattle Ukraine uh, and score a few. This is such a, an achievement to get to the quarterfinals for Ukraine and they put their heart and soul into that uh, round of 16 against Sweden um, I mean players were going down with cramp in extra time uh, injuries um, so I just think the last match took it too much out of them and England on the back of beating Germany uh, and we haven't conceded a goal yet we've just got too much defensively that I don't think Ukraine will be able to break us down and then on the offensively we're getting better Raheem Sterling's probably going to be on the score sheet Harry Kane now he's got a goal he's found the confidence he'll start banging them in and if uh, Gareth Southgate actually starts Jack Grealish 
we could see a fair few goals. So I think this one's going to be an easy one, and I think England will win. And those are my predictions, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy this little video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, and why not share this video on social media so your friends can see. Tell me in the comment section down below what do you think of my predictions, and also what are your predictions for the quarterfinals. I would love to hear them down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button for more weekly sports videos. And if you subscribe to Mint Like That, make sure you also click that bell button so you never miss a new video. And if you need even more content from me, make sure you check out my main channel, Gative Theories, where we do three film and TV videos a week. There'll be a link in the description down below if you want to go check that out, as well as a link to our reaction channel, which we do daily reactions on, Got Reacts. So if you're into reactions, make sure you go and check that one out as well. Link in the description down below. But you've been watching Got Sports. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon for another brand new sports video. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.